Hey friends, welcome to the part 26. We are looking at real certification questions on certification on security speciality. Lot of people think I don't need to do this certification. Cloud is all about jack of all trades. You need to do so many certifications. It has to be wide. You need to do DevOps. You need to do certifications for data analytics. You need to do certifications for security speciality, for solution architect and so on then you can command respect in an organization and you can your cv will talk volumes about how crucial your skills are so please do subscribe so many people have gained out of the content on this channel they have actually passed the certification so if you have not yet subscribed please do so do not wait for a year till all your peers get certified okay and uh, if you want to look for contents on this channel, this is the YouTube handle. For last two, three months, YouTube has introduced handles. And there are a lot of questions in the members area, cloud kernel area. You can go for that membership. It is cheap and it will give you access to so many questions. So you can click the join button below this video or go through the description. There is a link click that link and become a member now let us jump into this question see in the real world this is the activity which we always do so see, this question is very simple as a devops engineer you want to monitor account root user activities why are you monitoring because nobody should use account root user so it's simple whenever you get such questions you have to use a rule and you have to send notification for which sns is the pop sub service which can be used to send text you see this cursor here this cursor text push notifications emails so the moment i see sns so this is one of my answer and rule is what we need this is cloudwatch event rule this is my second answer so i will first actually if you see in the sequence the rule will first trigger and then it will send as messages or push notifications see whenever you see such questions no? You have to monitor root user activities. Close your eyes, straight away look for CloudWatch events rule and SNS. Simple. Don't think much. Now I'll explain you why other options are not correct. See, organization is just used to manage your environment. In real life, what happens? You have multiple accounts, AWS accounts. Each account will have so many different resources. And it may happen each account maps to a particular department like finance, HR and so on. So manually, if you try to manage it, it's becoming so difficult. So you use organizations to manage this. This is the purpose. In this question, nobody is talking that I'm having difficulty managing it and so on. So this is wrong. Now, C is talking about inspector it is just like your cop or a police in your country it will look for vulnerabilities it will look for unintended network exposure like for example this apartment complex why is this guy roaming for so long he, we have never seen him he doesn't stay here let us ask for uh, proof of identification does the question say that there are bad players getting in or so such things nothing so this is wrong now trusted advisor they are saying you configure trusted advisor to send email to security group now trusted advisor is just like a consultant it will give you suggestions to reduce cost for example in real life we use it it tells us that hey you know what your these five ec2 instances were idle for 15 days so that gives me an indication I should shut it off or I should put some automation to start and stop it. It will not help you with this use case of root user activities. Okay. 
this is wrong so this would be my final answer now let us look at this next question See, this question looks very easy it is a encryption question first of all now uh, i have two requirements here so what are the requirements you are having two requirements here first is you are telling me that the keys are managed by the company if keys are managed by the company i have to go with customer managed keys which i see it here i see it here okay so that means okay i see it here also customer managed keys but option b i do not see customer managed keys so i will strike it out so b is wrong okay now what is the other requirement other requirement is you have to make use of hardware security module that means the moment you see hardware security module we should talk about cloud hsl this is meant for hardware security module in the aws world aws will test your knowledge on different services that you know about aws so that means we should choose answers where we have hsm so you have hsm here you have it here but option a you see there is no hsm so a is wrong so thus we have arrived at uh, two options which could be correct now difference between c and d is that d is telling you that you should use byok bring your own key see when we are talking about customer uh, managed keys the keys are stored in cloud hsm and then they are imported you see this you pause this video and read please read this section which i have highlighted so what it is telling is for you know byok it is telling that you generate a hbk key and you are importing you are generating it and you are importing it into hsm but that is not the requirement here in this case. Why, why do we want to do it question does not explicitly tell that we can manage with a custom key store where the key is generated on customer controlled hsm because we have customer managed keys so this will work so, so d is wrong in this case we do not have a, a imperative here to choose by okay c would be the right answer because it will be backed by custom key store on hsm so it addresses both requirements this one as well as this one if you have not yet subscribed please do so this is the handle of this channel on youtube you can search using this handle this brings us to the end of part 26 many people think i am not from security teams i don't need to do this certification but you have to do it you have to be jack of all trades in the cloud world in the cloud world nobody looks for master of one okay so try to widen your knowledge base go for such certifications it will immensely help you to mature as a professional now this brings us to the end of this part. Stay tuned, we will post many more such parts.